Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add custom maps. So, custom maps, I was going to, or I was planning to make this video like a week ago, but then school came again, and I had a bunch of tests and I had to study, so I really couldn't do anything because I didn't have free time. But, I'm here now, so... I'm gonna make this long awaited tutorial because everybody's been asking it so yeah let's get right into it so first things first what you want to do is you want to download one of these two packages it can also be both but I'm also only going to do the only up because the stumble guys all you have to do is just add it and then add um, colliders to it and that's basically all you have to do so yeah I'm only going to do the only up portion because yeah anyways first thing what you want to do you want to go over here to your wardrobe and you want to duplicate the hats button or any button really and then drag it over here to your code of conduct it doesn't have to be on the code of conduct but i usually do it on the code of conduct credits to jk for telling me this um, putting it right here because it actually looks really clean and it does not take up like space so yeah he told me to put it right here so yeah uh, but then what you want to do is you want to get rid of the uh, wardrobe function button script and add the banana OS menu button script and for the press material add pressed unpressed material add plastic button renderer just drag this on just like that and then objects to disable you want to do code of conduct so this text and this text and then rename the text on here from hats so from hats just like that to custom maps just like this and then what you want to do is you want to duplicate this button if you are doing both then you have to duplicate it two times but I'm only going to do it once and then this is going to be the only up button name it only up button just like that and then get rid of these two the two disables and then click the arrow next to lower level and then click the arrow next to forest so that all of this slides out then what you want to do is you want to drag lower level out I forgot that it's in so you want to drag it out so you won't have to click the arrow next to lower level my bad but it should just be like this you want to drag it out and then make sure tree room is also out and then on your only up button you want to change the text first of all I forgot to do that only up oh my god my L key is broken I swear anyways then you want to go over here onto your button with your scripts and everything and then you want to find your forest and drag that onto disable now I know this might seem sketchy but trust it works okay so then you want to duplicate this button the only up button drag it under and then change the text to uh, reactivate or not reactivate but like normal map I guess just change it to a normal map and then on your normal map button you want to get rid of forest on disable and add forest to enable so right here forest onto enable and then if you have imported the only up into your game already then you can add it in just like that and then from above you can kinda like scale it or like put it where you want it to be and then delete this tree room right here but and if it asks you to like unpack it or something or like edit prefab just right click only up made by funny number uh, and then click prefab and then click unpack completely and then everything should have a mesh collider already in it but then what you want to do is you want to go all the way up 
until you get to your stump up here. <coughs> Go into it a little bit. And then you can change all of this. So like all the text and stuff. But what mainly you have to do is you have to go over here. It's going to say this is like glass or squid game, glass bridge, whatever. You want to click on one of them and then scroll down until you can see all of the wrong and correct. And then highlight every wrong one. So just like this by clicking on one and then holding control and then clicking all the other ones. So there we go. Oh. Just skim over them. Well, don't skim over them. Just make sure you only highlighted the wrong and then click the three dots and click remove component. Then, what you want to do is you want to go all the way back down. Oh, my bad. All the way back down into your normal map. And then, what you want to do is you want to turn only up off. And then, on your only up button, you want to drag only up. I've probably said only up now, like. 13 times. I'll add a counter to see how many times I said the word, you know. Um, but yeah. Then you want to go to the normal map button and drag only up onto disable. And then turn both of these buttons off by going like that. And then click the custom maps button and scroll down a little bit until you see these two buttons right then you want to click the lock on it click one highlight the other and then drag that onto enable then what you want to do is you want to go back to your custom maps button duplicate it and put it up a little bit and this is going to be your back button basically what this is going to do is going to disable these two buttons so I'm going to do that right now but first you want to get rid of all of these by just clicking the minus and then disable this and then enable this and this you're just gonna drag that onto enable name this back or not name it but like change the text to back and you can also just like custom maps back go back to your custom maps button and then also also add custom maps back onto your enable so then in the end it should look like this for your custom maps button your back button should look like this your only up button should look like this and your normal map button should look like this then if we were to go ahead and test it load in you would click the custom maps button just like so and then if you were to click the only up button force would get disabled and then your only up would get enabled and then if you click your normal maps button test press everything will go back to normal and you will have all of your maps back so yeah, that's basically how you add custom maps to your Gorilla Tag copy. Also make sure this is off for now. So yeah, that's how you add custom maps to your copy. I'm sorry that this took so long to get out again. But yeah, that's all you have to do to add custom maps. See ya.